In the ever-evolving landscape of animated cinema, the return of the legendary Hayao Miyazaki to feature screenwriting has set the stage for a cinematic phenomenon. The Boy and the Heron, Miyazaki's latest creation, soared into the limelight with a blockbuster opening week, amassing an astonishing $12.8 million in North America. As audiences eagerly await the release of The Boy and the Heron Part 1 on December 8, 2023, the anticipation surrounding the potential sequel, Part 2, adds an air of mystery and excitement to this momentous occasion. In this comprehensive guide, we embark on a journey through key highlights, the film's overview, storyline, directorial insights, box office figures, and more, providing a detailed exploration of this highly anticipated addition to Studio Ghibli's illustrious repertoire. The cinematic landscape is buzzing with anticipation as The Boy and the Heron Part 1 prepares to grace North American screens on December 8, 2023. The film's predecessor astounded audiences with an impressive $12.8 million collection in its North American debut, marking a groundbreaking achievement in the world of a nine. However, the fate of The Boy and the Heron Part 2 hangs in the balance, with no confirmed release date, leaving fans in suspense. While the film is not currently available for streaming, Studio Ghibli enthusiasts can indulge in the magic of the studio's other timeless creations, all conveniently accessible on Netflix except for Grave of the Fireflies. The Boy and the Heron, directed by the maestro himself, Hayao Miyazaki, is a captivating animated fantasy produced by Toshio Suzuki, featuring the enchanting musical compositions of Joe Hisaishi. With a stellar cast including Soma Santoki, Masaki Suda, Ko Shibasaki, and Amyan, the film promises to transport audiences to a world where the lines between reality and fantasy blur seamlessly. Set against the backdrop of Japan, the film unfolds on July 14, 2023, with a running time of 124 minutes. Distributed by Toho, The Boy and the Heron, marks Miyazaki's return to the director's chair after a decade, following his last endeavor, the Wind Rises, in 2013. Ghibli's latest feature also introduces a new generation to the Miyazaki legacy, with Hayao Miyazaki's son, Goro Miyazaki, serving as the executive producer. The Boy and the Heron introduces us to Mahito, a young child brimming with longing for his departed mother. Embarking on a journey into a realm where the boundaries between the living and the deceased intertwine, Mahito unveils a world where the cessation of death gives rise to the emergence of reborn life. Miyazaki weaves a semi-autobiographical fantasy that delves into profound themes of life, death, and creation a heartfelt homage to the essence of friendship. While the storyline remains shrouded in mystery, the title itself hints at a narrative interwoven with themes of wonder, camaraderie, and the intricate connections between humans and nature. Studio Ghibli's legacy, built on emotionally resonant stories and exquisite animation, is poised to captivate audiences once again with this enigmatic tale. Hayao Miyazaki's resurgence into filmmaking after a decade is a monumental event in the realm of animation. As one of the founding partners of Studio Ghibli, Miyazaki stands as a cinematic icon, renowned for his breathtaking animation techniques and enchanting narratives. The studio's previous films have garnered critical acclaim, with Miyazaki himself winning an Oscar for Best Animated Feature for Spirited Away and earning nominations for two other Ghibli productions, Hell's Moving Castle and The Wind Rises. With The Boy and the Heron, Miyazaki continues to weave his magic, and industry insiders anticipate the film to be a contender for various accolades in the upcoming awards season. The director's unique vision and storytelling prowess add to the allure of this cinematic masterpiece, promising an experience that transcends the boundaries of traditional animation. While the exact budget for The Boy and the Heron remains undisclosed, industry speculation suggests it may surpass the previous title holder, The Tale of Princess Kaguya, which boasted a budget of 5 billion yen. In terms of global box office performance, the film has already achieved remarkable success, grossing approximately $103.7 million worldwide. The film's performance in the United States and Canada is noteworthy, with a gross of approximately $12,972,683 and a staggering $12.8 million in its opening weekend. These figures not only reflect the film's commercial success, but also underscore the widespread appeal and anticipation surrounding Miyazaki's return to the directorial chair. As of now, The Boy and the Heron is not available for streaming and the release schedule or platform for Part 2 remains undisclosed. However, for avid Studio Ghibli fans, the majority of the studio's previous films, excluding Grave of the Fireflies, are conveniently accessible on Netflix. The expectation among enthusiasts is that once released internationally, The Boy and the Heron, 
will find a home on this popular streaming platform. The absence of part 2 from the streaming landscape leaves audiences in suspense, heightening the eagerness for an announcement regarding its release. As the film's international release draws nearer, the prospect of joining the ranks of Studio Ghibli classics on Netflix adds to the anticipation. As we stand on the brink of the release of The Boy and the Heron Part 1, the cinematic world is poised for an odyssey that transcends the boundaries of animation. Hayao Miyazaki's return marks not just a film release, but a cultural event, with the potential for part two, adding an extra layer of intrigue. The Boy and the Heron promises to uphold Studio Ghibli's legacy of creating timeless, touching, and visually stunning masterpieces. Whether it be the exploration of life, death, and creation or the celebration of friendship, Miyazaki's unique narrative approach ensures that audiences will be taken on an emotional journey that lingers long after the credits roll. As the global premiere approaches, the collective excitement around The Boy and the Heron is palpable, transcending the realms of a Nime fandom, and reaching into the broader cinematic landscape. Whether it graces streaming platforms or premieres in theaters worldwide, the magic of Studio Ghibli is set to enchant audiences once again, leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of animated cinema. Stay tuned for the unfolding of this cinematic odyssey, and let the enchantment of Miyazaki's vision captivate your imagination once more.